Now onto those college protests on campus. Uh, we've been following these for weeks, and today more than 80 demonstrators were arrested at UC Santa Cruz after a standoff between demonstrators and law enforcement. Both sides held their ground for hours until law enforcement cleared the scene just over an hour ago. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes has a look at exactly how things unfolded. Warnings from police at UC Santa Cruz before many pro-Palestinian demonstrators were arrested. Starting late Thursday night, police and riot gear surrounded demonstrators on the south side of campus. The encampment started on May 1st. By Friday morning, it was gone, dismantled while demonstrators and police faced off. Destroying the encampment, they were destroying tents, tables. Also gone were barricades set up this week that blocked the main entrance of campus. It was that move that the university said led it to take action. In a statement Friday, it said, quote, following the continued intentional and dangerous blockade of campus entrances, UC Santa Cruz took action to remove the barricades and disband the unlawful encampment. Those actions started early this morning. The statement went on to say, quote, they were notified that their actions were unlawful and unsafe, and this morning they were also given multiple warnings by law enforcement to leave the area and disperse to avoid arrest. Unfortunately, many refuse to follow this directive and many individuals are being arrested. Student demonstrators are criticizing the large response from law enforcement. And there's a lot of uh, students here bruised up. I know there's a few that are in, in the ER, ER right now um, who have been brutalized by these police officers. Even though the crowd out here is made up of student demonstrators, those students have also been getting the support of many faculty members. I don't know how much this is, this is costing. Who's paying that? You know, when we have graduate students that can't make ends meet. In its statement, the university said it had to restore full access to campus and was impossible to do that without law enforcement intervention, saying, quote, those actions could have been avoided if the encampment participants heeded the many previous directives that were given by campus officials, fire marshals, and law enforcement, end quote. Demonstrators on scene told us they had no plans on backing down until the university met their divestment demands. In Santa Cruz, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.